into just a little bit of squat works next. So we're going to really try to uh, emphasize the feeling of length through the spine as we challenge the hips and the abs to stay balanced. So go ahead and bring the right foot onto your towel. Um, I'm going to start sideways just so you can see me a little bit better. Um, but know that you can still face, right? I'm going to turn myself back around in a minute. So when I like to think of a squat, I like to think of a, a nice hips distance apart, maybe a little wider. Just depends on your knees and what feels comfortable for you. And I want to, let's start with our hands on our hips. And the first thing I'd like you to do is start to just shift your weight forward towards the toes, then pull your weight back towards the heels. Now, if you go back and you feel like for a minute you're going to fall, that might be a good place to play with, right? That might be a good place to start to feel for whew, where is that line between my balance, right, and falling. So just shifting the weight towards the toes and then towards the heels. Do you feel how you're sort of um, moving the pelvis with you, right? So make sure that that pelvis comes back. It's not the shoulder girdle that's going to and fro, right? It's really kind of the whole column. Think of your roll up, <laughs> back and forth. Now pull the weight back, and I want you to think of your marches, right, or your toe taps. How do we pull the legs up? And they're underneath us, so you're like, well, I, I, I don't know. You have to think of pulling the weight out of the thighs as though you're drawing the legs up into a tabletop-like position, right? And then I want you to push through the heels, bring yourself all the way up. So think hips back, knees up. Right, knees up. I'm going to keep my hands in front of me. All the way up. Hips back, knees up. So really focusing on the weight behind you all the way back up. I'm going to turn back to face towards you as we keep going, taking that towel with me. So I'm going to think hips back, knees up. Sitting back and down. Now push energy through the heels, stand it up, right? Hips back, knees up. This time I'd like you to stay here, right? Hold this position. Shift the weight to your left heel just a little bit, almost like you're smushing your heel down. And just stretch your right leg out and in and out and in. Now, I know this may fire up through the quad and the knee. If that's the case for you, I might ask you to try to shift your weight back a little bit more. So if we're very toe heavy, we may be um, feeling it more in front of our body, and I want you to try to get the glute to light up too. Last one, and then stand it all the way up, all right? We're gonna work on the squat on the left and keep the right leg straight. So from here, I want you to stay back through the hips, Stay over your left side, right leg slides out, and then we pull it back up underneath us. Right leg slides out, push through the left heel to stand up. So we're working on the lift sensation. Now try to keep your spine really long, right? And think, think of the bridge work, think of your roll down, roll up, right? All of that driving energy through the heel. Feel the back of your thigh line up. We've got five and lift, and four, and lift, last three, lift it up, give me two, almost there, last one, back and down, all the way back up, wiggle it out, shake it out, especially that leg, screaming at you, all right, switching to the other side, so the other side, again, let's play just a few, in an upright position, how do we get to our squat. So we want to shift the weight back towards the heels and feel like we're pulling the weight up out of our knees, out of our thighs. Then push through the heels to come back up. So think of the way in your bridge series you stand into the feet to lift the hips up. Same idea. Let's do twice more. Push into the heels, lift it up, and last time shift it back. This time we're going to stay low. Stay over your right heel, just your left leg goes out. And in. Lift the lot of your chest just a little bit. Notice if you're accidentally flexing. Right? Stay lifted. Maybe even wiggle your right toes. Are you accidentally clamping? We've got two. And last one. Push into the heels. Bring it all the way up. All right? So now we're working just on this right hip. So stay over to the right side. Think hips back, knees up. And then push into that right heel, stand up. Hips back, knees up. 
try to engage your abs to help you up. Sometimes I picture like a marionette on strings. Somebody's pulling you up. You're down, pulling you up. You've got five more. Pushing into the heel. Last four. Give me three. Last two. Almost there, last one. Pulling it all the way back up. Good, wiggle it out. <laughs> Go ahead and set your towel to one side. We're gonna pull the mat back underneath us. Looking at where we're headed, right? Feet firmly planted. Let's circle the arms up, taking that nice big stretch. And exhale, just press all the air out. Let's do that again. Lifting it up. And exhale, press that air out. Taking a moment to calm your heart. Let's pull it up. Now lift up and over an invisible beach ball in front of you, pouring yourself down, melting towards the mat. Gently start to pedal your legs. A little bit of right and left so that you're stretching open through the hamstrings, maybe the low back. Both legs through center, giving just a little bend as you gently start to walk yourself out. Four, three, two, one, right into a plank. You can always come to kneeling if you'd like. Wrap your shoulders back and down. Lift the layers of abdominals, give me a little tuck to the wheel of your pelvis, and try to sink your heels. Take an inhale. Exhale, I'd like you to lift the layers, right, and pull your hips back, guess what, there it is, to move into your forward fold. Last inhale. Exhale, walk it back. Four, three, two, one, all the way out. Again, lift the layers, tuck the pelvis, lift the heart, wrap the shoulders. We're gonna hold here a beat. I'd like you to bend one knee and then press it long. Bend the other knee and press it long. Now you can always come to kneeling and then think of pushing a leg straight, right? Or if you wanna practice your plank, your leg straight and you bend the knee. Last four, wrapping your shoulders back and down. Last three. Give me two, lifting the layers, almost there, last one, strong straight legs. From here, if you can, bend both knees, shift it back, push through the legs, press it back into your plank. Bend both knees, shift it back, push. So I'd like you to think hips back, knees up, hips back, knees up, there we are again, right? And then press it all the way back up. Hips back, knees up, hips back, knees up. And then press it all the way back. Let's go ahead and do twice more. Hips back, knees up. Wrapping the shoulders back and down. And last one, hips back, knees up. And then press it all the way back. Carefully bring both feet down, shifting your weight back to a tall kneeling position. Stay up for me, wrap those shoulders back and down. And then let's go ahead and bring the arms out to a T. So we're gonna move into a twist. So take a nice easy inhale as we pulse twice to the right. Exhale all the way to the left and to the right. Exhale. Push energy down into your shins just a little bit to stay upright. Let's do twice more. And last one, inhale. Everything back to center. We're gonna go to the right. We're gonna hold. Your right hand's gonna start to come down to your right heel, and we're gonna lift the left arm up and back. Big stretch, especially for those quads. Open up the hip flexors in the thighs. Now you're gonna sit back and down. You're gonna crisscross your left arm over your right thigh, and then you're gonna press it back up. And sit back and down. Right, so pull your hips back. Lift the layers of abdominals. Pull your hips back. Two, lift the layers of abdominals. Almost there, last one, pull your hips back. Lift the layers of abdominals. Like somebody's grabbed your hand, pull up, up, up. We're gonna twist to the left. Now from here, again, left hand reaches back. Stretch open through the front of your hips. Ooh, I'm tighter on this side. Keep wrapping your left shoulder back and down. Now think hips back, and then press the hips forward. Hips back, and then press forward. Lift the abdominals. Be careful of your low back. This isn't just an arch, this is a lift. A lift. Last three. Give me two. 
almost there, last one. You're gonna press those hips up like somebody's grabbed your hand, pull you up, up, up. Let's reach both arms forward. We're gonna set up a tray. Bend and press. Keep the shoulders quiet. So I want you to think hips back, lift the abdominals. Hips back, lift the abdominals. You're still working on a squat, right? You're still thinking about the legs and the abs. Last four. Give me three. Last two. Shoulders are quiet. Head is over your rib cage, over your pelvis. Everybody's going to serve a tray, pressing it forward. Palms are going to face in. Lift the light of your chest. You're going to open the arms out. Take a little hip hinge backwards. Ooh. And then pick it up. Open it up. Backwards. So keep lifting the abdominals here. Lifting the abdominals. Try not to do anything with the head or neck. Right? This is all just a lean. Almost there. Last one. I feel those quads heating up. Reach it and soften everything down. Take a moment and let it breathe. Nice little stretch. Slowly wave your heart forward into a tabletop-like position, wrapping those shoulders back and down. You're going to press one leg strong and straight, sinking the heel. Lift the layers of abdominals, and then press the other leg to meet it. Wrapping the shoulders, lift the light of your chest, take an inhale here. Exhale, pipe the hips up. Hips back, hips back, walk it back. Four, three, two, one. Hands hang towards the feet, take a nice easy inhale. Exhale, tuck the wheel of your pelvis, articulate your spine back, then up, back, then up, back, then up. Circle the arms, Oof, and let it breathe. All right, we're going to come back to standing. So I'm going to move my mat forward, out of the way again. Go ahead and grab onto your towel again. This time, bringing it still just under one foot. I'm gonna start sideways, so that, again, you can see just a little bit. We got out. All right, so again, just think a little bit, hips back, knees up, right? What does that feel like? And then standing. Hips back, knees up. Again, maybe wiggle your toes. Hips back, knees up, right? Lift the layers of abdominals, drive through the heels. Last time, hips back, knees up. Find a position you can hold. I'm going to shift my weight to my left heel just a little bit. Just the right leg is going to go out and in, and out and in, and out and in. So I'm heavy through that left heel. I'm lifting through my left obliques. We've got three. Last two. Last one. From here, stand it up. Woo! Wiggle it out for a minute. <laughs> right? So we're going to keep that right leg long behind us. So think hips back, knees up, right leg goes back. Right? So we slide down, pick it up. Slide down, pick it up. Slide down, pick it up. So try to square your pelvis. <sighs> think that you're pulling yourself up from the inside of your left thigh. So I'm pushing energy down through my left heel to zip up through my abdominal wall. Four. Last three. Give me two. Last one. Zip it up. Pulling all the way up. Woo! Wiggle it out. All right. So we've got the other side to do. So I'm just going to turn around. Towel's going to stay where it's at. All right. And again, shaking it out. Both, both legs now. Hips back. Knees up. So right away, I have to admit, like, I feel my left foot moving, right? Because it's on that slippery surface. It's on the towel. So right to left feel different, even though I'm just working a squat. Hold. Shift the weight to the right heel just a little bit. Left leg goes back and in. Back and in. Lifting the line of your chest. Shoulders back. Neck. Try not to jut it forward, right? Think body weight is back. Five and four. Give me three. My left foot is light. At least I'm trying to make it light. Last one. And then bring it all the way up. Shake it out for a minute. All right, so now the left leg is going to stay strong, straight, as we lower and lift. Good. Go ahead, sink hips back, knees up. <sighs> 
Shift the weight to the right heel. Left leg goes back. Woo, lost my balance. Pull in and out. Oops, sorry. Mix it up. I messed it up already. <laughs> up and down. And up and down. Drive energy through that right heel. Pull it up and down. Last five. Give me four. Woo, three. Drive through the heel. Last two. And one all the way up. Woo. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right. We're going to go ahead and come back down onto the mat. Looking at where we're headed, right? Feet firmly planted. Let's circle the arms up, taking that nice big stretch. And exhale. Just press all the air out. Let's do that again. Lifting it up. And exhale. Press that air out. Taking a moment to calm your heart. Let's pull it up. Now lift up and over an invisible beach ball in front of you, pouring yourself down, melting towards the mat. Gently start to pedal your legs. A little bit of right and left so that you're stretching open through the hamstrings, maybe the low back. Both legs through center, giving you just a little bend as you gently start to walk yourself out. Four, three, two, one, right into a plank. You can always come to kneeling if you'd like. Wrap your shoulders back and down. Lift the layers of abdominals, give me a little tuck to the wheel of your pelvis, and try to sink your heels. Take an inhale. Exhale, I'd like you to lift the layers, right? And pull your hips back, guess what, there it is, to move into your forward fold. Last inhale, exhale, walk it back. Four, three, two, one, all the way out. Again, lift the layers, tuck the pelvis, lift the heart, wrap the shoulders. We're gonna hold here a beat. I'd like you to bend one knee and then press it long. Bend the other knee and press it long. Now you can always come to kneeling and then think of pushing a leg straight, right? Or if you wanna practice your plank, your leg straight and you bend the knee. Last four, wrapping your shoulders back and down. Last three, give me two, lifting the layers, almost there, last one, strong straight legs. From here, if you can, bend both knees, shift it back, push through the legs, press it back into your plank. Bend both knees, shift it back, push. So I'd like you to think hips back, knees up, hips back, knees up, there we are again, right? And then press it all the way back up. Hips back, knees up, hips back, knees up. And then press it all the way back. Let's go ahead and do twice more. Hips back, knees up. Wrapping the shoulders back and down. And last one, hips back, knees up. And then press it all the way back. Carefully bring both feet down, shifting your weight back to a tall kneeling position. Stay up for me. Wrap those shoulders back and down. And then let's go ahead and bring the arms out to a T. So we're gonna move into a twist. So take a nice easy inhale as we pulse twice to the right. Exhale all the way to the left and to the right. Exhale. Push energy down into your shins just a little bit to stay upright. Let's do twice more. And last one, inhale. Everything back to center. We're going to go to the right. We're going to hold. Your right hand's going to start to come down to your right heel. And we're going to lift the left arm up and back. Big stretch, especially for those quads. Open up the hip flexors in the thighs. Then you're going to sit back and down. You're going to crisscross your left arm over your right thigh. And then you're going to press it back up. And sit back and down. Right? So pull your hips back. Lift the layers of abdominal. Pull your hips back. Two, lift the layers of abdominals. Almost there, last one. Pull your hips back. Lift the layers of abdominals. Like somebody's grabbed your hand, pull up, up, up. We're gonna twist to the left. Now from here, again, left hand reaches back. Stretch open for the front of your hips. Ooh, I'm tighter on this side. Keep wrapping your left shoulder back and down. Now think hips back, and then press the hips forward. Hips back, and then press forward. Lift the abdominals. Be careful of your low back. This isn't just an arch. This is a lift, 
lift. Last three. Give me two. Almost there, last one. You're gonna press those hips up like somebody's grabbed your hand, pull you up, up, up. Let's reach both arms forward. We're gonna set up a tray. Bend and press. Keep the shoulders quiet. So I want you to think hips back, lift the abdominals. Hips back, lift the abdominals. You're still working on a squat, right? You're still thinking about the legs and the abs. Last four. Give me three. Last two. Shoulders are quiet. Head is over your rib cage, over your pelvis. Everybody's going to serve a tray, pressing it forward. Palms are going to face in. Lift to the light of your chest. You're going to open the arms out. Take a little hip hinge backwards. Ooh. And then pick it up. Open it out. Backwards. So keep lifting the abdominals here. Lifting the abdominals. Try not to do anything with the head or neck. Right? This is all just a lean. Almost there. Last one. I feel those quads heating up. Woo. Reach it and soften everything down. Take a moment and let it breathe.